I believe that the Caribbean, we have so many small islands and many economies are not sustainable in terms of long term. All the small islands just need to get together and work together some more despite our um, historical fragmentation. So kind of being all over the place because of the legacies of colonialism and slavery. I believe regionalism can really help us deal with some of the major issues in this global economy, one of which is climate change. We will bear the brunt of, of, of global climate change, despite the fact that we don't really put out that much in terms of doing damage to the world. We put out very little emissions, um, very little carbon emissions into the environment, but we will feel the greater effects um, of the global climate change. I see that as sort of violent in terms of like the global um, global environment. If we're able to band together more, we will have more negotiating power um, with the, the greater economies of the world. Because the greater economies have systematically and historically been um, dealing with their own national interests. They need to realize that small economies of the world, that that, that we need to be sustainable as well and that they need to listen to our voices. If we increase solidarity among the smaller countries of the world and, and we work more together, we'll be able to have more negotiating power. The Caribbean tried regionalism before. It was pre-colonial. Britain said, you're not quite ready for colonialism because you don't have sturdy governmental structures in place. And so they created the West Indian Federation. That didn't do too well. By, by, it was created in 1958, and by the time 1962, it had fallen apart because um, the Caribbean was so accustomed to fragmentation from just sort of being all over the place and not having a cohesive vision. CARICOM, the Caribbean community, um, is an incarnation Right? It is a rebirth of the West Indian Federation, of how regionalism can benefit folks. For example, Guyana has lots of land in South America. They can have a program where they can have migrant workers coming from other economies, small economies within the Caribbean where they don't have agriculture. The folks can come into Guyana, they can work for a certain period, then they can go back and in turn Guyana can sell those goods at a subsidized um price to those other economies, Be, uh, the meat industry, the milk industry, banana industry, all of those economies have fallen flat. We can't compete on the global stage when the richer countries are subsidizing their goods. We can band together to, to embark upon a trajectory of not, not reactive development, because our development is so piecemeal, it's so fragmented, um, embark upon a trajectory, a pathway of sustainable development.